your parents are from Afghanistan. They are. Okay. And are you first generation? That's when I was <laughs> born here, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And they weren't. They weren't. They're they're foreigners. They're fucking foreigners. How'd they respond when you were like, I'm going to do stand up? They loved it. They did. <laughs> they like, this is why we moved here. <laughs> oh. What style? My son will be physical comedian. <laughs> I don't want you to stand in the lever. Fuck the New York style. You, you, big stages for my son. If you're not sweating by the end of your set, you're no son of mine. <laughs> Pr no props. <laughs> it's a crutch. <laughs> do you have siblings? A what? Do you have siblings? A brother. What does he do? He's a magician. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> How funny would it be? My parents fuck up twice. <laughs> that would be crushing. They come from Afghanistan. One son's a stand-up comic and the other's a magician. <laughs> and then they'd be like, what do we do? No, he's a dentist. <laughs> okay. So it's beautiful. That's... Beautiful. He took, he took like, you know, all the praise and like all the heat off of me. It's yeah, great. yeah. Yeah. He walked so I could run. That's really kind of him. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I'm a fucking engineer at the end of the day that it's not using the degree. So that's not bad. Yeah. You got the degree. Plus you're successful. So you're fine. Yeah. I was thinking about calling my special successful disappointment. Yeah. But then people don't like I don't know how to spell successful sometimes or disappointment. Or disappointment so and it's just, wordy. Yeah. So you have to, that, this is the other thing. Too, when you self-release specials and especially for like keyword searches and stuff, you just have to make it like mr beastie seo friendly and just, you really like mr beast no but i just use him as like an archetype for like the youtubeification of art mm, i always joke around yes like i mean i have this joke i want to be like the hardest part about being a youtuber is never being able to close your mouth <laughs> i had the worst experience i was like i'm gonna try making like a youtube vlog right hey guys Oh, that was another joke too. I was like, I just want to be able to make a career, a living without having to go. Hey guys. Yes. So I take out my phone. I'm like in the car with my fiance, Dan, and I'm like, he's driving and I'm in the passenger seat. We're like on the Williamsburg bridge, but it's like a lot of traffic. And I like take out my phone and I'm like about to make a video. And I swear to God, there's like a car next to us, but it's like bumper to bumper. Mm -hmm. And this guy just yells out and he's like, you're ugly. And I was like, and like I'm like a new, I'm born in New York. I like turned my camera around and I was like, "What did you say?" Yeah. And then you go, um, "My vlog can wait." I know. What the fuck you say? <laughs> I know. And then they literally drove around to the other side of the car and they maced the driver's side. It was fucking, what? It was fucking crazy. The guy was like, "I'm gonna kill you." They followed us for like five minutes. It was like the craziest. I don't understand the logic of these lunatics. They shout, you're ugly. Yes. What you say? Oh, no one second guesses me. Time to get maced. They literally took out a giant thing of, of bear spray, the whole fucking car. We like called the cops in the car and we're like, uh, we just got like maced. The cops are like, where are you? We're like, we're driving. Oops. They're like, okay. They're like, do they have a gun? We're like, I don't know. They're like, where are you? We're like, oh, we don't know. And then we're like, okay, they stopped following us. So we hung up. It was terrible. Did you capture it or no? I have like a blurry photo of the guy's face from when I turned my camera around. But I'm like, whatever. Damn. It was, it honestly, I'm always one of those people that would like instigate back with people. And it taught me like, you can't do that. It's not worth it. I'm just like, well, path of least resistance. I'm like, okay. Now I'm like, I will not like instigate with strangers. That was the most surprising thing that I've always been like, you know, like aggressive driver, like, like, fuck you. I've always had this thought, like you ever see people, I feel like when people get drunk, mm -hmm. that's sort of like a mask off situation. It, you kind of get to the core of who they yeah. really are a little yeah. bit without all the things. And then when people are in cars, you see some car zipping around, yeah. you see them, it's like an old Asian lady. You go, oh shit. <laughs> That's that's you? That's inside. I love that. That's inside the sweet old lady. And then the joke is like, if you want real mask mask off, it's being drunk in a car. Yes. Then that's the real you. 
it's possible those people were drunk in the car. <laughs> You're ugly. Crazy. How would you be like? Then I went to the stand. I did a spot, and they gave me. He was water. there. He was with, there. With the bear maze. Yeah, he was so just you like, think You're over? ugly. <laughs> what is the best advice you ever received? Best advice, man. It's hard. I don't know if I have like a quintessential nugget of. No, no nuggets. Hmm. Do you do you have one? <sighs> I'm flipping it. I guess. I mean, people people. I ask this so much. That what? The best advice you ever received. Like yeah. I'm, I'm getting constantly filled with people's uh. nuggets. I guess the best advice, I like, I mean, I like, you know, being present, minding your business, don't take people's advice. Those are all three good ones. You know, okay, this isn't those, this isn't one that was like personally told to me by someone I know, but I saw this will smith video okay talking about relationships or whatever and it spoke to me Uh uh-huh where he's talking about a lot of times in relationships your partner will be like i want you to fill my cup you know what i mean like they need you to fill their cup Mm. i'm butchering the whatever it is but the gist of it is you're both complete people already yeah you're both fine and like well adjusted and and you're enough Mm -hmm. as is and you choose to live your lives together on parallel tracks yeah rather than i need you to make me whole you know what i mean i like that yeah so it's like you're both enough and you're choosing to live life together and it kind of feeds into this other thought i've had about like just the way men are portrayed in rom-coms and shit like whenever it doesn't work out or a girl leaves a guy's life he's, he's always like at her doorstep like i can't sleep yeah, I'm a, I can't eat without you. Yeah. And like he's a fucking like he's shitting himself and he has like long fingernails and a beard because <laughs> that's like the romantic version. Yeah, like, like if you're a woman, that. yeah, like oh my god, his life is ruined without me. That's so romantic. Mm-hmm. I fucking broke his brain. He's like a shell of a man. He's not. He's in a mental asylum because that's how cute I am. Oops. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So that's like the rom com version. That's that's alluring. But I mean, I always say the like for me, this would never sell a lot as a Hallmark card. But to me, true romance, the card would say, uh, I'd be fine without you, <laughs> but I don't want to. Yeah. You know what I mean? Okay. So that just shows like you're a healthy yeah. individual, but you still choose. I, that doesn't mean I don't want you in my life and I still prefer this. I feel that. Yes. But that's not that. as romantic as like... <laughs> Uh, why come back yeah Uh. yeah okay i was gonna destroy his life if i left i i definitely i have such a vision of a of a a romantic comedy where there's a guy with a sandwich sitting outside waiting growing old yeah yeah it's funny my dad uh had this ex girlfriend and he went to we were all at dinner like lunch and he went to the bathroom and then I was like sitting alone with a girlfriend and he, she just leans in. She's like, I want your father to want me. I don't want him to need me. <laughs> that's, yeah. I was like, that's kind of the same thing. Yes. Though. It's the same thing. Yeah. Obviously, they didn't work out. He found someone else. But oh. it's it, I remember it so vaguely. I'm like, you didn't give her enough tips. I was like, you why didn't... is this bitch telling me this? <laughs> this is crazy. Did you, What did you say? I was like. I was I was like in college. I was like, well, it's good. It's good. I was like, like I'm hungry. <laughs> was was it like a Russian accent? What was that? Um, she was from Brazil. <laughs> okay. I want your father to want me, not to need me. Any tips? <laughs> um, um, be yourself. <laughs> Can you pass the aioli? Yeah, I'm gonna have the bread. <laughs> I was like, okay, thanks, bitch. It's your dad, man. 